Hello everybody, this is a much, much needed vlog. Nice to say I've been doing amazing. Lovely to see that it's been raining and overcast for a few weeks now, a lot of thunderstorms, which is amazing because we are not used to that anymore here. There's been a drought, especially in Southern Cali, and there's usually a lot of fires, so hopefully this helps us out a lot, especially in Central California. And it's amazing that we're actually gonna have a lot of water for the crops. And hopefully this helps us not have that many fires. When there was finally a little bit of sunshine out, it was time to go outside. It was time to get a hike because I don't know about you, but I actually hibernated this winter and I feel so relaxed, I feel refreshed, and my skin just wants to absorb the vitamin D. Like I was saying, mon amis, yes, it was really nice to actually go with the flow with the seasons and hibernate for a change because I never put my body through that r and &R. I usually just go, go, go and I don't know who was around last year, but if you saw during the winter season, I actually left and decided to abuse my passport and be in nine different countries that winter. So this has been a very nice change. I've also been learning that in order to run a business as a CEO, as an entrepreneur effectively and be able to gauge amazing business and creative ideas as well, you have to rest your mind. Once you are very rested, your mind starts regenerating a lot of brain cells. That's where new ideas come from. That's where a lot of logistics, a lot of management can come into place and a lot of your ideas are clearer. So if you ever feel a little overwhelmed and you have too many ideas or maybe you can't put something into you know a fruition into let's say a plan in action you think i don't know which one's more important you get some rest relax give yourself that self-love because i guarantee you things will look a lot clearer and you'll see the importance of one thing over the other once you're rested regenerating brain cells and utilizing Basically, the natural elements and nutrition as medicine has been one of my biggest aims this self-help and this self-healing journey. I've always been a big advocate of self-love. How can we love others adequately if we don't love ourselves the right way, if we don't have a non-toxic and very directional mindset where our emotions are actually felt, where we are actually going through what we feel in a healthy way so we can get past it, so we can grow from it instead of pushing it to the side or masking it and saying, you know, I'll worry about it later because then that comes back and haunts us like a trauma. So part of this self-love journey means looking ahead of us and everything that I both input into my body, just like how I spend my time, has been something that I've been focusing all of my time and energy on as a new entrepreneur as somebody that is time rich and making sure that my head and my heart are always on right has been my number one priority in order to maintain a very business and strong disciplined mindset which now that i have to manage and parent myself hasn't been the easiest to do and learning to gauge and have that discipline really has been an amazing journey Post-pandemic, after everything that happened with me legality-wise, going to court, getting my restraining order against my ex, all I wanted to do was be an entrepreneur and just gain my peace. Get that peace away from corporate America or somebody in Uncle Sam's wallet that was just unappreciative of how above and beyond I would go to grow their business, to grow their companies, to grow them as an individual and as an entrepreneur, CEO, or as a wannabe and now influencer. 
Since the pandemic ended, I needed a go to court and my father passed away simultaneously. My entire life, it didn't completely, let's say, change its route, but it did reroute for sure. And I started focusing more, of course, on my mother, what her plans were, what she wants to do, where she wants to be, and also settling all of the paperwork because when someone's diseased, there's a lot of legalities, a lot of government, city state and since my dad owned his own business there was a lot of paperwork and there's still a lot that has to be settled because you know switching things over and also letting them know that he's no longer here with us it takes it takes a little bit of time and they're not the fastest when it comes to filing and making sure they let us know hey this is checked off your list thank you so much with that being said i've been very very happy just being time rich and making sure that little by little I focus on myself so that when I'm out of the country and really focusing on my worldwide business endeavors, I know that my family and especially my mom is very well taken care of. Will you have time to think of it? A little bit. Yeah, a week. Yeah. I think that should be fine. I don't need to make anything crazy. Have your channel, but then have this as it's a playlist. On, yeah, it's going to be on. So I made it Gore County Studios. So my podcast is on there and this is going to be on there. Nice. Perfect. Then you have like, yeah, you have your different little chapters and libraries. Okay. So we'll do that. Cooking with Little Goat. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready. Okay, main camera. Let me make sure it's in focus. Main camera focus. Side oh, camera no recording. He's probably just gonna stay the whole I know, he just wants to be like in the mix. Like he's gotta be like in it. Oh, like Gobi. You're so cute. So helpful. I know. <laughs> so All right. Bliss. We are recording. Are we are ready? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Um, first episode meal prep with a little goat. So we're gonna see how it goes, right? Right? Okay. So uh, we're gonna make chicken with bacon jam and potatoes. We have five, let's do three of the biggest ones. So I'm gonna put them in whole because I like to cut it up after. That way it's a little easier to work with. And uh, you can cut it up smaller because we want to cut up everything as small as we can. Um, you want to let them know why you're washing your hands? Why that matters so much? Uh, yeah, because I touched the chicken and it's a biological weapon. That's what they said. Somebody said that. And, um, Somebody in the documentary said it. Salmonella. Salmonella, yes. Work smarter, not harder. So we save the funeral. Touching their bodies. I think these are sweet onions. Right? No, yellow onions. Doesn't matter. Whatever onions. Just fucking get whatever you can. And we're gonna get the bacon out. And then I'm probably gonna get like a million comments telling me that I'm not cutting right. This bow has vintage ribbons on it. Look at how beautiful. It's jewelry from White to K. All my maximalist bows are here. I pride myself on growing up in Los Angeles and being a true Angelina. My family migrated here from Durango, Mexico. They came here illegally and they wanted to live out the American dream in order for me to not have to struggle the way that they did. And I'm so glad that they did because my mom and dad are the best people in the entire world. They came here they literally did everything that this country wants you to do they paid it forward they were exemplary citizens and man i remember turning 18 and being able to drive to downtown la from where i lived because i grew up in ball gardens right off the five freeway and i was able to get to downtown in maybe 15 minutes but the type of opportunities that i'm getting out here are if i don't want to go to school for something because i don't want to be a doctor or a scientist that's fine Nobody has to embed that into everybody else's lives. You're able to go into the workforce and start working, gain that experience, get your own momentum in the way that you want to gain it. And one of the ways that I wanted to gain momentum right out of high school was to work. I've been able to pave my own path just like my dad did. 
My mom and my dad both had their own vision of when they got here. And then obviously with the language barrier and with not having any credentials as a US citizen, there were a lot of hardships, but both my mom and my dad have been able to live freely, do whatever they want throughout their days. Obviously, they still took care of a lot of responsibilities. No matter what, even when we didn't have a ton of money, the great thing is that we had a roof over our heads. I always had my mom and dad there, they weren't gone, and we had delicious homemade food. I have a lot of gratitude for them. They were always my best friends. Love them to death. Being able to grow up in such a rich, cultured city like Los Angeles, so much art, so much music. I'm just so blessed. And because of that, I was able to go to public school for my senior year of high school. I even took a photography class there. And that's where one of my biggest passions actually stems from.